You know, there's a recipe in the thing. Oh, thank God for that. There's a recipe. Oh, yeah, it's in the drawer. Oh, my heart's pounding. This is the one you really just need to read and concentrate, and hopefully it'll be all right. You've set the bakers a challenge of making a vegan chocolate and raspberry tart. Well, I thought it would be good to do a vegan tartlet because we've got a vegan baker in there. So what about the other three, a non-vegan? Well, it's good for them to learn too. OK, that's fair. Add 50 grams of coconut oil. Apparently, this is very good for um, purifying yourself. Coconut oil. I dropped a bit of coconut oil on the carpet. Got, for, that's there forever now. Pulse it. Well, the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. If anyone else is really sticky. I want to divide it equally. Roll it into a 14 centimetre round. It's a technical challenge, so yeah, exactly. everyone's in the same boat. Yeah. And we'll all sink together. We'll all sink together. Pour the water into the pan and add the sugar. Bring to the boil. OK, Mama. Off she goes. Rob said he didn't know what a ganache was. Yeah. Do you think he's just playing us? I do. Do you? Yeah. I think it's utter bull. It is, isn't it? He because came he... in exactly. with his tiny, crunkly hazelnut delights. I know. Said, oh, my wife baked them. Yeah, my wife baked them. I've never even baked them before. I've never heard of food. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Is this a tent? Bakers, you are halfway through. <laughs> this looks mental, isn't it? Just putting these little ceramic balls on a cake. Well, so what does this... This can't be right, can it? Too long and the cases will be tough. Too short and they'll be left with a soggy bottom. I'm going for ten minutes here. I'm going to give them say, eight minutes. Like three minutes, four minutes. It is an absolute car crash. I could do grout in with that. I'm going to have to rewarm my ganache, I think. Um, and see what happens. Bakers, you have 15 minutes left. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this will be OK. You know? Look at that. Lovely. Have you tried melting your ganache yet, Rob? No, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. Much better, I think. <laughs> OK, can I have a spoon? Oh, no. Do you know what? It's too late for a spoon. Yeah, they look good. Bakers, you've got one minute left. Raspberry on top. Mine look horrendous, so I might put a lot of raspberry. I've never decorated anything, really. Oh, I'm so embarrassed I could die. Oh, my God, that looks worse. Bakers, your time is up. Prue and Paul are looking for four identical vegan chocolate tarts. We have four. They are similar. They need more raspberries. Moving on to number two. It would have been nice to see the raspberries go on when it was still a little bit soft. So that they'd stay on. <laughs> so they'd stay on. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now, there is a shine on this one, which is hopeful. Very shiny. And the pastry looks very thin and delicate. Mm. And the base looks actually quite well baked. Yeah, that's all. So that's this is good. looking cheerful. Last, and hopefully not least, is that... Now, this looks quite well baked. It's got a good firm base. The ganache has got a nice shine to it. Good snap. The ganache is actually a bit too... A bit too runny. It did end up with a nicely tempered shine, I would say. <gasps> well, you see, you would know about that if you were on a professional bakery show. <laughs> <laughs>